Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Lives to Project. So today I wanted to give you an update on the self-watering containers that I have planted up at the front of my house. But first, I wanted to show you these coleus that James and I purchased, kind of a summer plant haul for 2020. They are gorgeous. I just love coleus, the different you know colors, the patterns on their leaves, the different shapes of the leaves, their edges are all usually different. I just love them. They're so beautiful and to me coleus always just looks so pretty they you know just always look put together and neat and they usually last like the whole season long I really love them really simple and easy to grow so I'm gonna go ahead and show you here in just a moment what I'm doing with the coleus so guys, take a look at this container filled with coleus. It filled in so nicely. So if you've seen the video where I planted this up, I purchased some of the coleus from a local garden center and I had some that I started from seed indoors early on in the season and so I just used a mix of those but it just looks so kind of plain and bare a lot of soil showing and you can see now this is about five weeks of growth and I'm really loving these self-watering containers so this is a self-watering container by Crescent Garden it's the 26 inch so I filled up the reservoir about four weeks ago in five days when I first planted up this container and so it took that long for it to use up all of that water and I am loving it. Normally I would feel like I needed to water this every day especially the heat we're getting right now. It's like in the 90s with a heat index of 100. So you can see all of these green coleus. These are the ones that I started from seed and also that little one with color popping up there, the red one. Um, but they were in the front, if you remember. So this is actually the back of the container now. We turn this thing around, because what happened, all of these ones here with the beautiful colors and kind of shapes to their leaves, they were in the back getting shaded out by the green ones that really started to flourish, fill in, bush out. And so these were all kind of still short and leggy. So we turned the whole container around and now they are bushy, full, looking great. Now because of the heat, some of them right now look a little droopy, but they will perk up once the sun goes down and it gets a little cooler. So all in all, my take on this, I love the self-watering containers and I'm loving the coleus in here. So next, now onto these other two self-watering containers. These are the 18 inch ones that I planted up with flowers. These are also by Crescent Garden. So you can see the flowers are no longer there. And the plant haul that I just showed you with the coleus, I went ahead and planted them up so you wouldn't have to kind of watch me do all of the planting. You can just kind of see the results at the end and I am loving them. They look so beautiful. So some may say, is that too much coleus? You know, all you have is just a bunch of different coleus. Me, I say no because I just love coleus and I just think they're so beautiful. And like I said, just look so clean and neat and put together all the time. So these will bush out and fill in. Some of the ones in the back look a little leggy now, but once they get some growth on them in just a couple of weeks, they will bush out and fill in and cover the soil that's showing right now. And these coleus do like more of a shaded area. They only like a few hours of sun a day. And I think this area gets a little more than that. But I have found over the last couple of years, you know, having a coleus up here in containers, that they do seem like they can take more sun than the tag states. And I am bummed that I didn't give you guys a better update on how these containers looked prior to pulling out those old plants and putting in these coleus. But I'm loving the coleus. Now just have to water them in over the top because I just planted them up, fill up the reservoir in the containers, and that will be it. And hopefully I'll get a few weeks before I have to fill them up again. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future projects or updates on how these containers are looking later on in the season. I hope you will follow me on Instagram. I thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So guys, check out these cute little nursery pods. They came with the coleus. I think that's a really nice bonus. I get four of them and I think I can use them for fall decorating.